Hello, DK here with Mr. V Amps, and today we're going to repair a central vacuum cleaner hose. Yeah, I know. So where the hell have I been anyway? Um, just working on stuff. My day job business has been going well, so I've been doing that. Now, this handle had a problem, and it was leaking air and falling apart. So, since I needed it one day, I did the ghetto fix of wrapping a bunch of tape around it. And that kind of helped, but it's pathetic, and it's a really awful, horrible way to fix it. This type of hose is referred to as a turbo hose or a turbo grip hose. This one is branded New Tone, but they come with many, many brands. Central vacuum systems are kind of generic. There are a few types of hose, and as you can tell, this screw that was supposed to be holding the top to the bottom didn't even work because that was all busted and ripped out. And whatever. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our busted up, sorry, pathetic excuse for a handle here and we are going to replace it with that one. Because on this one the end is all bent and not even round anymore. If you notice our new one is friction fit where this was button lock. It really doesn't matter because none of the attachments I use on this are button lock anyway. So I need to open it up Sitting here in the clips is the electrosity part. This is what uh, actually makes the on-off switch work. And this is clipped in the plastic here. It should unclip. It's just clipped there and there. Let's see if we can pop that with a little flat blade and see if we can get it out of there without busting it. There's one half. And we'll try the other half. Hopefully we won't break anything. Can't get under it quite. Let's see if we can get a wedge. Looks like they did they actually like hot weld that or glue that? Yeah, let's, let me look close. I gotta have to eyeball this close. Yeah, it looks like our dear friends uh, have put a drop of glue on that. So allow me to uh, pry that off camera. Let me take a second. Well, yes, friends, it did have a drop of glue on it. And uh, that drop of glue uh, was actually extended and glued the wire there, which lost a little bit of insulation. This is low voltage. It's only t like 20 volts, if that. Um, DC just runs a relay, so I'm not too concerned about that. If I really was, I could paint over it or do a little something, you know, put a little bit of uh, insulation on that. And then we got this mess here, which that screw will need to come out. I might need to get a real screwdriver for that, because this little bitty precision one might be too crap. And this hose is going in the trash. Why am I trying to be ginger with it? Okay, that's good enough. That has to turn out sideways so I can press. This, this is the on-off switch and they don't give you a new on-off switch. You have to reuse the one you had. So we need to press that out. It should just pop out clip tabs and uh, pop that out and then we'll be in good shape. So let me press that out and then we'll talk. Okay, so that on-off switch has the little springy tabs on the side of the button to pop that out and this circuit board is small enough to fit through the opening when you come up through. So that's part one. You can buy that assembly separately if you need it, but I'm going to reuse that one. This is disgusting and horrible and I'm going to be so glad to throw this broken handle in the trash. A new hose is a couple hundred dollars, so I didn't want to have to buy that, but uh, this will be good. Now this part where the hose meets the body um, is held in by these little clip tabs. So we need to press these in and kind of press and pop. There's two on the top and one on the bottom. So we need to press that in and hopefully that assembly will pop out. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to press in these three and get this collar to come out of there. Okay, so after getting these three tabs to pop out, 
this part assembly thing comes out and then this rancid horrible handle can go in the trash. So the screw that I had in there was the wrong one because the original one stripped out or whatever. I have something close to the original that we'll have to go get. So now that we have our handle, our replacement handle, this part should just click in. But we'll take a good look here at what we got. Okay. Two prongs at the top, one prong at the bottom. Seals on the side. Should just be able to press that in, line it up. It'll make a clicky noise and then it'll be in there and it'll be a real nightmare if I ever have to try to remove it again anytime soon. Almost. One down. One and two. And there. So that's clicked in. That ain't going nowhere. And it can freely rotate, which is good. And then we have to put the circuit board and the switch in it. So do run this down through here. If these contacts are yucky and filthy and whatnot, put a little contact cleaner on there. It's good for it. Push that in there so it clicks. Forward is on. You know, one for on. Forward makes more sense to me. Although it really doesn't care. And then we can put this piece here. And these copper contacts are spring. So, press that down into the clips, and now it is clipped on. And then, now that it's clipped on, it should have good contact there. And, well, the handle itself will hold that back on, so me twisting it around makes me look silly. Or I may put a drop of glue on it, if I feel the need to. had it and then I broke it because I'm trying to I, I need to practice doing these things before I decide to film them that's got to be what it is practice it first I'll give those a little twist outward make sure they're really locked good See if that'll hold. Yep. I think we are going to have to put a drop of glue on that let me give those a little tweak but at this point, once I can get the top handle back down, that'll actually hold all that business down. And we don't want to pin our wires in the uh, top handle when we put that back down. So, slide that under there. It needs to go under there. Come on, fit. There we go. And then we squeeze that down and put a screw in there, an appropriate screw that isn't going to be too long to go deep in there, and then essentially our handle repair is complete. This plastic isn't lining up as well as I want it to, so maybe it's because there's a wire stuck there. Sure enough, there is. See it? So let's slip that up there a little bit better. This is low voltage wire, so it's not going to hurt you, but obviously you should have the hose unplugged and all that jazz for safety's sake, because you don't want the vacuum to turn on. And uh, then we'll put a screw in that and call it fixed.